Well, on guys, my name is Asian Psycho, and we're gonna get started on the, uh, the last weapon that I have not gone to reviewing that isn't a sniper rifle in Combat Arms, the Jackhammer, as of now, anyway. Obviously, there will be more guns in the future, uh, because Nexon always releases more guns, and that's to be expected. But in any case, the Jackhammer is the last, um weapon that I have yet to get to that isn't part of another family because it's, well, it's a standalone shotgun. So anyways, uh, this is going to be a review on the Pancor Corporation Jet Camera Shotgun. It is a fully automatic shotgun and it is only available for Annex Standard. So without further ado, let's get started. And a little bit of background information. Uh, it does cost 700 next a day and 2900 next for 7 days, uh, as is common amongst other shotguns. In fact, no other shotgun costs any more, any less, so that's price tag is pretty standard. And for permanent purchase, it is available for 20k next. Uh, moving on to its uh, statistics, statistics here. The, the damage is very, very high for a uh, jackhammer shotgun at uh, 82. This means that it is a very clean two-shot kill. Uh, you can't exactly one-shot medium vessels to the front, but you do have a chance of one-shotting medium vessels to the back, and there is also a chance that you can one-shot light vessels and recon vessels to the front, and you should be able to get a one-shot kill to the back of light or recon vesters. So damage is very, very high on the uh, Jack Hammer shotgun. Um, now that I think about it, I didn't pay attention to how many pellets it throws out per shell. I'm just, I'm gonna assume like eight because most most shotguns and combat arms uh, fires eight pellets or so so per shell. Because if you didn't know, uh, shotguns and combat arms uh, operates by a, a pellet method or a pellet mechanic where uh, each shell you fire uh, contains a certain amount of pellets, and uh, each individual pellet will be able to do damage. And um, yeah, basically, if how much damage you deal to your opponent depends on how many pellets the uh, how many actual pellets from your shell actually hits your target. So there you go. Uh, let's see here. Portability is a very low 53. The portability on the jackhammer is its biggest con, uh, in my opinion. The jackhammer is not very portable. In fact, it's heavier than your standard AK, which is pretty yeah, it's pretty hard to believe. Um, I mean, the jackhammer itself just looks he very heavy. So I mean, you can't. Re that's so it's something you would have expected, but to be to be that slow, considering that most other shotguns have like a much higher portability at like 67 or around 70 or so like that, or mid 60s, the jackhammer shotguns uh, portability is very very bad. So you're gonna have to get used to it. Uh, let's see, rate of fire is at a 20, which is not surprising because uh, it is a fully automatic shotgun. It is not really too fast, uh, nor is it too slow. I, th I think the rate of fire on the jackhammer shotgun is just about right. Uh, it's very predictable. Um, the, the rate of fire is slow enough so that the recoil spread uh, can come back to normal. Or the recoil kickback that is on the jackhammer, and um, overall it's, it's a very predictable uh, rate. Of, it just has a very predictable rate of fire, so it's very easy to use. Uh, accuracy, in terms of accuracy, um, normally Nexon uh, doesn't really give an accuracy stat to, uh, to shotguns, but I do anyway, because accuracy refers to how, uh, how many of the pellets will hit your target. The jackhammer shotgun is very, very accurate. Um, because of its recoil, because of its hit fire spread, the hit fire spread is smaller than most other shotguns. I think it's about the same as, um, the Spaz, it's a little bit bigger than the Spaz 12, but it's, it's about the same size as the M590, uh, CUV, or the M59 military, um, so it's very easy to use. It its pellets always, even if you hit like, even if you aim like really terribly at, at someone, as long as your crosses are over the person, you're going to definitely hit them. And of course, as long as you're within range. So the jackhammer shotgun is a very accurate shotgun. Um, uh, for example, if you were to fire at someone at middle range and the crosshair is, is directly over the person, then pretty much all you're guaranteed that all the pellets will hit your target. So it had the jag hammer does have that going right for it, and the fact that it does have a very high accuracy as in terms of where its bullet spreads will go. Uh, recoil. Recoil is also at a 53. Uh, this is, I don't know how this stands up to other shotguns, but in a practicality, in terms of spread and uh, recoil kickback, uh, it is overall pretty low. Um, it's not exactly low, like very, very low or anything like that, but um, it's very manageable. Like I said, the rate of fire is slow, slow enough so that the recoil uh, overall doesn't really pose a significant um, threat to your aim or your concentration while using the jackhammer and going full out at the same time. So. Recoil, overall, you don't really need to worry about it. 
Um, other aspects of the uh, jackhammer shotgun. Um, I mean, you really don't really don't need to worry about tap fire ability because you can't really use that long range. So screw that. Sprint drawback. Sprint drawback is pretty standard among shotguns. Uh, draw speed. The dr you, what's unique about the jackhammer shotgun is that the draw speed on this thing is also is also very completely silent. So you can you can to a certain extent go very stealthy with the sh jackhammer shotgun so you don't ac accidentally alert people uh, when you pull out your shotgun. Like they hear like someone uh, pumping the shotgun first. So they turn around and immediately shoot you while you're pu while you're pulling out your shotgun. Jack camera has a completely silent draw speed draw animation, so that is pretty useful. But overall, the direct Jack Hammer's draw speed is is pretty slow. It, I'd say it's slower than like most pump action shotguns. So um, unfortunately, unfortunately, the draw speed is not one of the Jack Hammer's strong points. Though it is pretty nifty in that it does have a completely silent draw animation. Um, moving on to the uh, the center speed, we don't need to worry about that because most shotguns well, spreads go back to normal after you fire a shot, so don't need to worry about it much. Um, reload speed. The reload speed on a jackhammer is also pretty slow. Um, it is it once again the jackhammer shotgun, or I shouldn't say once again. I, didn't even talk about this. The jackhammer does have a, a, a magazine-fed ammo, uh, ammo system. It's not like other shotguns where uh, most shotguns and combat arms are uh, shell-fed. Like they, each shell needs to be individually inserted into the barrel in order to, in order to reload the shotgun. The jackhammer is kind of like the Saga 20K or um, let's see what's another good shotgun that I could use. Like the AA-12 where they're all um, magazine fed so uh the jackhammer does have 10 rounds for magazine and i think 20 or 30 rounds in reserve i think 20 in reserve and uh, it does have a lot of ammo and definitely the uh, starting ammo per, uh, per magazine is also very high but when you do need to reload um it it's gonna take some time. So I mean, it's not like it's not like the R870 style, uh, like reloading where it just takes like forever to reload a full barrel. But the Jack Hammer's reload speed is still pretty slow, so you might want to be careful with that. Uh, as for its luck, I mean, it's a shotgun. As long as you aim somewhere near the head, you'll probably get a headshot. So, yeah. Okay, moving on. I already covered the ammo capacity. It's key physical characteristics. Um, the Jack Hammer is very, very unique in its in its um in its, I guess, construction, because it's a bullpup shotgun, which is pretty weird to think about it, you know? You don't really see very many bullpup shotguns anyway, and um, it, it, look, it looks very, very steelish, it's, um, and it, very, it looks a lot, very, what am I trying to say? It looks very futuristic. So, um, yeah, if you see, like, a weird shotgun that looks like it has grills on the top of its rails, then, um, yeah, that's probably the shotgun, that's probably the jackhammer. Uh, muzzle noise, it's a very, very loud and very deep kind of blasting noise you'll 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 see what i mean you'll you'll see what i mean when you actually hear it because no other shotgun sounds like a jackhammer shotgun uh as for its attachment options um you can i don't think you can actually do anything to it because you can't attach a magazine mod to it because it's already had it's already got 10 rounds per magazine and um shotguns can't attach sights or suppressors so yeah you can't attach anything on it unfortunately is it fire team worthy well sh shotguns normally aren't fire team worthy anyway so forget that quarantine not really, because it's the slowest shotgun in the game, I want to say, so not really either. Uh, as for my first personal opinions, the Jackhammer shotgun is overall a very, very good shotgun. Um, its damage is by far its strongest point, and um, its, uh, its manageable recoil is also a follow-up pro to it that kind of go hand-in-hand, hand because and, and also its bullet accuracy, so they all kind of work together so that you, when you're using a Jackhammer, you can easily take down people, even at, even at middle range and um, at the end of the Jackhammer's uh, overall range, effective range range but um its cons are that you know it's a really slow weapon and the fact that it's a slow uh weapon overall when you're running with it is a slow weapon when you need to pull it out of your backpack and it's a slow weapon when you need to reload it so those those points will definitely slow you down but if you can ignore that and you can if you can use a jack camera to its fullest potential and then then you're just gonna basically wreck wreck house that's that's about it its damage i feel is very very consistent and um you know it's it's a very good shotgun overall so um yeah it's not it's definitely not like a very mobile shotgun i i, I do admit but um i mean for for those of you guys who don't like to rush but you like to hold down positions you like to you're not exactly camping but you know you're you're holding on positions you're you're patrolling a certain area then the jackhammer is just perfect for you because the jackhammer i feel is more of a defensive uh, shotgun um because you know it's a very slow shotgun and that's probably how next time wanted it to be so anyways those are my frank personal opinions uh the jackhammer is an overall an excellent 
uh, shotgun it be just because of its damage uh, it's you it's hard to find a, a shotgun with consistent damage and the jackhammer definitely offers that so yeah anyways guys thanks for watching this has been a review on the jackhammer shotgun and if you guys haven't tried it out already be sure to try it out and see how you feel like see how you feel about it so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later